Got to get it, Papa. All right, I'm standing in front of one of the busiest places in Texas. And uh, you may have heard about it, you may not have, you may not have wanted to hear about it. But, uh, oh, yeah, I'm at Bucky's. See? So, against my better judgment, I got off the interstate and tried to get in here. And like I said, it is literally the busiest place on earth. Gas pumps as far as the eye can see. Traffic as far as the eye can see. This has to be the busiest place I've, I've seen in ages. This is sort of, I think it was inspired by Stuckey's. Stuckey's was same, basically the same thing. The Bucky's brought it to a whole new level. It's, uh, it's un unbelievable. Uh, I'm gonna go make a pass through the inside and uh, so you can see. And I'm gonna try not to get run over while I'm doing this. Yeah, it's like running the gauntlet here. Just <laughs> to get through the parking lot. There's no place to park by the building because there's literally thousands of people packed inside. Because you can, you can buy stuff like this. They only have a few of these that are going fast. And then you got these. And, uh, oh Lord, here he is. Here he is. That's what it's all about. It's Bucky himself. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a non-stop deal. Cheers. Ooh. Official hand sanitizer. Ooh, some Star Spangled Bucky shirts. Actually, I might have to get one of these. But yeah. <laughs> this is a truck stop, basically. A gas station. Get your groovy pop wallets with a real Bucky face on it. Some Howdy from Texas Magnets. Can never have enough of those. Lots of cool Texas jewelry. There's souvenirs aplenty. I thought I was kidding about thousands of people being in here. You can get pressed pennies. Bucky's right there. There's some other assorted Bucky merchandise. Ooh, it's a character ball. Those are fun. Here's some hats and shirts. Tie-dye style. Oh, look at this. You have your Volkswagen bus, you can ride around with one of these on. Groovy. Okay. And there's my lunch. My lunch is ready. 
And this is uh, this is kind of Cajun style because he's got corn and potatoes and I think those are supposed to be crawfish. So hot sauce. And ladies, you can get your Bucky bikini. Bucky wear. Oh, look at these groovy hats. I'd say a fishing hat, but you don't want to ruin a, a hat like that going fishing. And let's continue, shall we? Mix and match. Oh yeah, they got official Bucky food. Pork rinds and cheesy curls. Cheesy pork rinds and, and lots of pre-packaged delicious. It's the it's the wall of jerky. Be careful who you say that around. And there's like packaged food, you know, you can buy stuff and bring it home and cook it. Or I like to just stick stuff on the engine while I ride around and cook it that way. And these are all people waiting for jerky and stuff because they got the fresh jerky in the case there. <laughs> this is, you can get fudge. Ooh, key lime pie flavor. That stuff looks pretty good. Hot cashews. Hot. Look, here's how they make them. You sit here and be mesmerized. They're just swirling them around and they come out, cool off a little bit and then they bag them. This is different flavor. Oh, tasty. Okay, now let's continue. We're not even halfway through the store yet. I'm making some sandwiches. Bucky bandanas. Say that five times real fast. I want the one the giant Bucky head on it. Let's see. Let's continue. Oh, there he is. That's what it really looks like. This is the Cajun section. It's the crawfish boil stuff. <laughs> okay, we we just past the midpoint, and we're still going. Uh, they have their giant Texas-sized restrooms. I mean, people get lost in there, and you literally don't come out for months. Uh, all kind of stuff for in sale here in the middle. Uh, let's see what they got. Raspberry scones. Bucky's trail mix. Look at that. It's, it's got a real Bucky uh, style uh, bow on it. Bucky cheese bread. Sizzle and saltines. Ooh. Milk chocolate pecans. And they have milk chocolate pecans too. And uh, oh, it's more cheesy puffs. Lots of uh, salsa. Crazy color uh, sunflower seeds. Chocolate rocks. They have a few drinks in these coolers. And uh, let's see. Oh, we got some hot sauce. We got, what is this? Oh, dried veggies. Yeah, you can leave me out. Bean dip. You can't have enough bean dip. Especially if you're going to be in a, closed up in a car for a long time. Let's continue. You get some wine, beer, 
Beer is here. Look, here's all the hats. Here's some good hats. Official Bucky's style. You got your snackaroos, your icy machine. You can make your own icy. You promise not to dump it all over. Lots of snackies. And look, they have giant levitating Bucky heads on the wall. You could mount those on the on your grill when you take off down the interstate for, for added fun. But look at this. Coconut brittle. Jalapeno peanut brittle. Pecan brittle. Peanut brittle, brittle, brittle. Ooh, wait, how'd this get here? You got your old stand of uh, Funyuns. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I just heard they're out of watermelon taffy. So just, you know, I'll have to come back later. And uh, we keep going. <laughs> we just keep going. Here's some cher strawberry yogurt. Ooh. Now this sounds good. Sour power candy belts. That's <laughs> candy belts. If you're gonna have a eat chew on a belt, you might as well make it out of candy. Light delight. This is all the strawberry section here. And if you get tired of just buying pre-made stuff, you can get your cooking instruments and uh, cook it yourself. It's like bucky bags and more heads and uh, fishing supplies. This is the kickoff grill. I don't want to kick it too hard. This is some good cast iron pots, pans. You make make some big old giant cornbread with that. Uh, yeah, more lodge stuff. Uh, Batteries. I'm probably going to need some after shooting all this video through here. And look, I see the door. Let me see what happens. Wow, look like little miniature uh, little barbecue pits. That's good. I'm tired, I need a nap. You get your deer corn. And uh, it's starting to rain. Bucky's out here getting wet. I'm gonna have to make a run for it. Look, he guards each corner of the building like a lone sentinel, except there's two of them. See you later, Bucky. <laughs> I really didn't know if I could get out of there alive. I've never seen so many people in a, uh, a store like this. It's it's like uh, going to a theme park or something. They almost had they had groups of people waiting everywhere for stuff uh, because there were so many people ordering food and things like that. And uh, it, it was it was almost frightening. In a way. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much except for the crowds. They're not always that crowded, but. Uh, they're Bucky's. The couple that I've been to have been, they're, they're the same type of building. They're this huge, long building with departments and everything else. And um, unbelievable. So, you can look up Bucky's uh, on the internet and find out where they are near you. Use Google Maps or something like that. And of course, I, can't, I couldn't get out of there without uh, buying something. And so um, I went and stood in front of the wall of jerky for a while and uh, I got this I got this stuff uh, Hill Country brand cherry maple beef jerky and um, I'm gonna do a little taste test here see if I can do this ah! it didn't work it didn't work like I thought it would. Oh God, look at this cool limo. There's all kind of people here, famous people in limos pulling up. Anyway, <laughs> I got it open. 
So um, let me get a piece of this. It's kind of soft. It's not like the real hard, like leathery beef jerky. Um, looks pretty good. It smells good. Mm. And it's nice thick pieces and stuff. It's not spicy. It does have that sweet flavor to it. This is, this is pretty good. It's good for something different. Um, some places that well and they here they make a, a teriyaki style that would probably be similar except I would suspect that it would have a little more uh, spice to it it's not spicy at all mm. good stuff now I have snackies in the car and guess what I don't have to share them with old pappy because he won't stop smoking his stupid cigar for five seconds to do anything. He won't even sing without it. Pappy. Well, aren't y'all lucky? Looks like you're going to get to have a little musical entertainment here from Pappy. Oh, God. Okay, Pappy, you ready? Yep. Ready to go. All right, well, go ahead. I got a banjo in Texarkana, but I couldn't afford to buy the strings. So I'm standing here on this corner, just swinging that banjo over my head. Hey, my oh me, the people come and see. They gather around and throw stuff at me. Saying, please go away, you've been standing there all day, swinging that banjo over your head. Duh. Oh, God. Oh, this is time to end this trip. I think it's easy to say that uh, Texas will never be the same. I hope y'all enjoyed these uh, videos, this adventure through uh, Northeast Texas. And um, there'll be more adventures down the road. I can't promise that Pappy will show up. He may be going on a long, long trip by himself. <laughs> so we, hopefully um, we'll see what happens. But um, in the meantime, keep an eye out for more exciting episodes of Look that!